So if I wanted a high value man, what do I do? Be reincarnated. Are you a virgin? No. Buy a dog, die alone. Fuck attraction. No, they don't love you. The guys you want aren't asking you out. Get the fuck out of my phone. The rest of us do not have to suffer you. You had no problem showing your dick. Welcome back to Masculine Academy channel. Let's get into Kevin Samuels' top 10 most savage moments ever. Starting with number one, the delusional woman. I supposed to settle for a uh, regular type dude. Overall, does that make you below average, average, or above average? Factor all those things in together. Average. So why should you get anything over? Then why should you get above average? What do you mean settle for? You should and get I what see, you are. I see, I see millionaires with average women all the time. Man, you got two children, and you said you are six. I give you okay, five, six. You, you your numbers together would be average. So mm -hmm. why? So an average man would be upgrading to get you. Look, I didn't say I'm asking, that. I'm asking, man. Would you say that you're a woman that's uh, in high demand or most wanted? I could be. I mean, yeah, I could be. I mean, you could be. I, so, I said, okay. So, 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 man, you, listen, can listen, can listen, listen, about, listen. Don't, can hold I on. Tell you about myself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ma'am, you're 37 with two children. Mm -hmm. Where in the world do women who are Average to above average look, average to cute, who are a little overweight with two kids. Where are these women in high demand? So if I wanted a high value man, what do I do? Be reincarnated. You can't get one. I've been dating this guy now who's a high, pretty high value. And we, we've been talking How about How old him. is he? He's 51. Uh huh. What makes him high value? He owned his own uh, car dealership, uh -huh. and he has multiple businesses. Uh huh. Uh, he owns houses. Like, uh huh. He's doing, he's doing pretty good for himself. He's okay. probably not rich, but ma'am, being high value is more than just money. He's a mover or shaker, yeah, a most he, eligible. He okay, got... ma'am, but these men don't settle. They don't settle. They don't get women who are. They don't, they don't, they don't, uh, there, there are men on, on YouTube right now saying, I don't know what I'm talking about, about being high value. But here's one thing that they do agree with me on. They don't take a woman with children. They don't. I've had men who vehemently disagree with me on a lot of things. They don't listen to me, but unanimously, we don't take another man's children because that's not even in our, in their mindset. They don't. So you ladies can call it what you want. And I'm thinking, if the, how long have y'all been dating? Um, two weeks now. I said seriously, but considering you to be a wife. In two weeks, ma'am, yeah. Mm. Moment two, the unfit wife. How could I juggle it with getting a high value man back that um, I felt like I lost because I wasn't... Ah. Um, in therapy, I wasn't, okay. um, I wasn't ready and he called uh -huh. it out. He said I needed to get therapy and I really want him. Okay. It was ended. He said that you need to yeah. get your, your stuff together. Yeah, he said, literally, I need to get therapy. Have you so, done that? Yes, I've been in therapy from that time. So yes, All right. I'm, I'm All still right. in therapy. When was the last time you've spoken to this man since your breakup? Um, I haven't just over a year since that time, but it's mm -hmm. since all that has passed mm -hmm. um, and I felt like I lost him. I, I moved on and uh -huh. I got married, but I don't want to be with You got married? Woman. Yeah. You're currently married? Yes. I'm oh, married, yeah. no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ma'am, are you trolling me? No, I'm not. You, you broke know, up. Was, this guy called it out, and instead of, and you said you wouldn't have gotten therapy, yeah. and you're married, and you're actually, you're actively on a platform with a million folks, 
actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you, ma'am. I've heard some pretty interesting things in a year and a half of doing this show. But um, you probably have to be probably the, probably the worst woman I've ever spoken to. What? Wow. Yeah. I've heard a woman that actually was going to leave her, but at least she waited for her husband to be in remission before she left him. I was hoping you were trolling, but the more you talk, the more realistic you are. So I honestly hope whoever knows this woman's husband, make sure he watches this video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe. Moment number three, the average at best woman. Okay, so let me just go ahead and net it out for you. You ready? Uh-huh. The guys you want aren't asking you out. 35, 13-year-old son with a sketchy father. Why would a man who's in the top 10% of earners who women across the country want, want that? Um, Because I have a lot to offer. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm, just your face. Um, my face when I wake up, five, but when I put myself together, six. Okay. And how tall are you? Five, five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. So, um, did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. So what is your advice for, uh, okay. when did that? All right. I'll tell you my advice, man, because you're not listening to me. This is why I always recommend you need, you need to therapy. Every, people think most of us in the black community need therapy, but you're not, you're not dealing with reality because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being, don't tell me I'm being mean. I've, well, I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle the goddamn truth. You called my show on a day that you ain't even supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. Get the fuck out of my phone. Moment four. She only likes the athletes. But tell me about what the men that you want want from a woman. Run that I, resume down. And they want all the qualities that I have. I would. Well, then you should have no problem. That's what I'm saying. I should well, have no problem. But, I get well, but, but, the, but, but apparently that's not what they want. That's what you I'm like. Not 1%. 1%? OK. Well, then why aren't the men who want that approaching you? Because they do exist. They do. Are they still playing games? Maybe they're out here just. No. They're the ones towing it up because it's not me. No. See, it's see, see, and this is what I find interesting. You ladies always go to well, they even if they are there, they got to be doing something wrong because it's all right with me. Do you make room for the possibility maybe they're just reading that you're not what you say you are, even though that's what you want them to believe. I mean, I can't read minds, but maybe. Well, but, but 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 the only the only other way it works in your world is, yeah, they exist. Ma'am, you want a man who's making five hundred thousand dollars a year, and you're attracted to, and yes. he doesn't want kids. I do want kids. Okay, and, and to be a selfish, to be a <laughs> questionable bud that mess. And the point yes. is, ma'am, the point is, what you're basically trying to get, what you're trying to get the audience to accept is. These men don't exist. And I've showed over and over for months and months, they do exist. They just don't want women like you. They and maybe. They, or they're they, not that's not an insult. Or they're they not it's not an insult. women like me. No, 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 like, they why don't. Can't no, no, no. See, you keep, see, 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 the thing is, this is what you just said. They're not ready for women like you. There's always a deficit on the men's side. No, they don't want you. 
those men do not want me. But when they, they approach, don't. when they approach, and, and, and here's and they're the thing, wanting listen, me and asking me to marry them, and listen, them, listen. But then when we sit around, listen, and come out and about like, see, what? she's not now. Not now. Your ego's involved. Listen, no, no. you ladies control access to sex. We control access to relationship. So you can say whatever you want. We control access to relationship and they don't want it with you and they're going to get it from another woman. Fuck attraction. You're supposed to be the attractive one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about your attraction. I don't care about love either. Why do you women think you get it all? Moment five. The brainwashed girl. The world does not owe you understanding or me understanding. If you have all this trauma, go seek professional help because the rest of us do not have to suffer you. And women understand and hear that being 200 pounds and five foot tall is unhealthy. But yet 80% of our women are overweight and 80% of that is obese. They know the truth. They choose and to the do something else. The narrative pushed to us most often is that a guy wants a woman with a big ass. He wants you know, a thick lady. Accountability. We always... Accountability is kryptonite to modern women. That's You're modern... 24 years old. Is your, circum... is your circumstance harder or easier than your grandmother and your great grandmother? Exponentially easier. We have right. access it's to information great. we didn't Exponentially have. Exponentially easier, but you're handling it worse. Your grandmother, your great grandmother actually could work with a black man with more trauma because they understood that the black woman and the black man are on the same side. Now that we are all free and independent and to, we could do whatever we want to, why would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We, we even you. think that being- Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moment six, the OnlyFans girls. I don't think you know what you're talking about regarding OnlyFans, that's for sure, because- But I do know what I'm talking about as far as business and making money. In regards to making money, money comes in waves, and we all have to understand that. And if we all invest successfully, we could. Where are you investing? Where are you investing? People, people are. Good. Where are you investing? Average. Where are you investing? That's none of your business. It's it's a I'll secret. To, to, you know, the well, so you, I, I accept what you just said, but you said money comes in waves. Granted, we have to invest. It's taken. Where is some of the places you're investing? Yeah, says, See, this is what this is what this OnlyFans economy has done. It's let women with really low functioning knowledge, no high value or high it's ticket skills. Me. That's not low functioning knowledge. Uh, well, let's talk. Okay, every time I've asked you, I've asked you any question about business, and you've asked me a question instead of answering it. And I said, "What?" Well, and if it's not you, eat the meat, spit out the bones. But what OnlyFans has done. It's it's created a bubble economy. Women are coming rushing to OnlyFans thinking that it's the new dot com, the new real estate, and they're realizing that there is no sustainable way to pro project this out for over five years. Now, maybe you don't know that knowledge, but I do. Hafez has been the he's trying to be as measured as possible. I came in trying to be as measured as possible, and what are we getting? We're getting attacked we're getting angry we're getting you don't know nothing you don't know what i do we're know what i do we're know getting, what i do no, know no, what i do what i do know what i do know is of, in, of all the business people on this platform the people who are going to have long-term success are not you men have no place at all to say how women should and should we have, have every place we built the goddamn world you live in no you didn't I'm gonna the on is built by He's, men I'm going to say one, nobody made this about men you guys or women. Not get paid. You, this is what this I is, sit here. So this is what tends to happen when whether it's OnlyFans, TikTok, Instagram, and, and when women can't handle it, they leave. This is the point. You, this is about business. Business isn't offensive, but when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're sh online strippers. But make a little bit of money. Congratulations. I'm good with escorts. I'm good with strippers. But when someone like Hafiz or myself tries to sit down and talk to you about your level of ignorance, you're offended. Your ignorance is what offends you. And it's offensive to me that you're going to try to make this about men and sexism. This is what the world has done. It's got little 
pampered princesses who can get online, make some money, and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world, and they are not. That's what you just saw them leave because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere, into a bank, into anybody's business to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go-to-market strategy. Moment seven, the disagreeable granny. I just want to know why you have such a neg radical feminist. I hate to admit it, but I do. Like, I'm half a man. I'm just a pretty girl. And I don't think that I should have to accept less in life. Men don't care about fair. We conquer. It's winners and losers. Straight up. Right? You're and half a man. I didn't know that only men were part of conquering. Well, okay. name, me, name me some great oh, female yeah. warriors that have dominated the planet. Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm learning new education here, which is only men conquer. No, I, I mean that's what you're telling me, right? No, well, see, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to switch that. I, I'm asking about fairness, and I said about fairness. Why is fairness so important? You said because you're half a man. Because if you expect something of me, I should be allowed to expect the same of you. And if you can't offer me that, you don't deserve to be in my life. But that has nothing to do with fairness. It has everything to do with fairness. No, fairness means you get an opportunity. Fairness doesn't mean you get an outcome. <laughs> oh my God. Just like, you know what? How many times you've gotten to a club into VIP for free when some ugly chicks had to pay full price? Is that my fault? Oh. No, no, no. I've asked how many times it happened before you go down that path. I mean, it, plenty of times in Miami. Exactly. But that's not fair, is it? Well, please don't forget I'm not from here. But so. that's not the point, ma'am. That's yeah. not fair, is it? I also don't care about those things. But oh, so you only care about fairness when it when it doesn't benefit you. I just don't go to clubs that often. But that's not the point. I asked you, how many times have yeah. you gone to a club where you got in and free where ugly chicks or less attractive chicks had to pay? And you know that's happened. You didn't say, I'm still, excuse me, sir. Uh, even though I'm attractive, I demand that you charge me full price. That's fair, right? Okay, so because I fair? into places and get that fair, that means that I should that get fair. Before we go that, I'll answer your question if you at least yeah. answer mine. Is that fair? Life isn't fair. Well, if that's the case, you accept it in the sexual marketplace too. It doesn't mean I have to accept other people's bullshit. No. Well, see, the thing is, ma'am, see what you've proven, like many feminists and many women, you're okay with the double standards that benefit you. But the ones you don't like, you just throw at the wind, you sign language, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right to deflect and dismiss guys who are normally intimidated by this thing. I'm not. I'm just challenging your positions. Highly You're okay with it not being fair when it benefits you. Name me five great female inventors or builders. Madam Curie. Five inventors or builders. That's a really great question. That really is. I'm like, saying that you came at me with the same line. I've had to put up at 31 years old and deal with men's bullshit. You're living in a first world country. You're in Miami, one of the most posh places on the planet, complaining about double standards that you participate in. The I corrected you that I don't go to clubs. So you're okay, done. I just gave an example. You've right. been to clubs. I didn't say you continue to go. That's not the point now, is it? But see, that's another way of you trying to get me online and then correcting me because I'm a dumb man. I get the point. No, you're I mean, you're very rude and very aggressive. No, I'm very direct. And when you were doing this to the men, you had no problem showing your dick. No, I know that you don't give every man a chance is what I do know. You don't. Well, actually, you don't know that at all. Okay, you give. Okay, are you saying that you are the one female on the planet that will give every man who wanted you a shot? No, I am not. Okay, then I can assume that that was correct. Let's move on. The issue is that men are not the ones complaining about the state of relationships and dating as much as women are. Women wanted freedom of choice. Women wanted to be able to have sex with who they wanted to, marry who they want to, love who they want to, work where they want to, not work where they want to, go every place that men could go. You are the most free, most liberated group of women that ever existed on the human history, and yet you're the most unhappy. One in four out of you on some sort of psych meds. Women are, the marital rate is dropping with modern women. What else do you want men to do? We've civilized the world in general. We don't even have wars. You can do whatever you want to. And you're still not happy with the world the men built. Moment nine, the empire lady. And you met a guy who wants to be married, marriage minded, your kind of guy. How long? Do you... You're not a traditional woman. Are you a virgin? No. You're not a traditional woman. And I'm saying this, ma'am, you women want traditional outcomes. Hmm. Weddings, white dresses. And you're schizophrenic, psychotic, non-virgins. The, but the first thing I asked you <laughs> what the marriage is about, you said companionship. 
Yes, oh yeah, like do. partnership. There's no part. You can't make this shit up. I mean, I would love to build an empire with the man I'm yeah. with. Build an empire, lady, you cut hair for a living. Yeah. I mean, I empire, have- I have uh, uh, Empire what? You couldn't make I have other job. goals, like real estate and- Oh, Jesus! He said it. Real estate, right? <laughs> Why? Real estate. She's the, she's the, she's the stylist, the, the hair the stylist with the real estate. You can't make this shit up. I want an empire, an empire, yeah. really? Is it worth getting married and having two children if you gotta work full time like you do now? For the rest of your life, you gotta work just as hard as you're working now. You can't take a break, you gotta, you gotta work because you got two miles to feed. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? I feel like I feel like that would be a little bit of a struggle. I would want to be there for my kids. She said it. Yeah. Women today want to be luxury married or single. You guys are so Fucking lazy. Like I said, this isn't a black thing, folks. This is a modern thing. You heard it. I put the question. You got to work like you do today, and you're willing to do that. But in order to enhance your life with a, a husband, mm -hmm. a mate, someone to chronicle and walk through life with you, and you would get two children, that is not enough of a benefit. You didn't hear her say, well, yeah, I'm going to have to work anyway, right? But I get a husband and kids? Sure. No. I get a husband and kids. I'm supposed to have to do less. And moment 10, the unfair feminist. Men have accepted that and adjusted. The difference is the women are not bringing in. Women in mass are bringing this. Ask them what you want, you get war and peace. Ask you what you bring to the table, you can't write it on the back of a stamp. You get access to my body, which is not virgin, which is not even low miles, which you've given to somebody before. And in some cases, you've even shared your womb. You're not even really feminine like women used to be. You don't even have the domestic skills, the home skills. So is it a, I would, so I would submit today that modern women are asking for an unfair deal from modern men. So we should go back to 1950 and make it more fair? Well, uh, I tell you what, what's happening is the men have accepted this and they're deciding to, I am neither not going to play this game because I cannot earn what these guys around you are earning. And they're just opting to walk away. And the men who are earning that have an overwhelming amount of options. They have a plethora of options. Men in the top 10%, top 5%, I'm 51 years old and I can pick whatever I want because women all want the same kind of man. And if you have options just like you, you're not going to do what? Settle. For more video about delusional women, click on here. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and subscribe. It will really help me.